Today we've got a fun Fairywood comparison, TaylorMade Sim 2 Max versus TaylorMade Stealth. Skylar is with me today to hit some shots and give her feedback, and we'll see what Trackman says. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole with Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Skylar Kistler, a sales associate here at Second Swing at Minnetonka. Five woods today we're testing. We've got the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max, of course, from 2021, and the TaylorMade Stealth mm -hmm. from 2022. So uh, if I remember right, Skylar, you have a Sim 2 Max three wood in your bag, yes. correct? So mm -hmm. uh, we got the five wood here. Um, what do you like about the three wood and why did you put that in your bag? Yeah, I mean, I like the forgiveness that it offers. Um, with the three wood, it's a, it's a pretty big, club head. I mean, mm -hmm. I know that even with my miss hits, they're going to go further than any older technology that I have would. Mm -hmm. So I really like that forgiveness aspect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely a key element that TaylorMade has always, you know, implemented into any of their woods. Uh, so one of the, th the big things with, you know, stealth now, and I think this is certainly true, we've talked about it over and over with the drivers, but is that all black crown, right? Mm -hmm. They kind of, you know, as you can see with the Sim 2, they've kind of got that white, some blue. Now it's all black. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, do you like the all black better or do you like kind of that, that white stripe there? Um, either or, personally, my eye is just more drawn to the solid black in mm -hmm. the stealth. Um, when I am hitting, I'm more, I'm focused on the ball. So the club head isn't too much of a distraction, but just sit, standing here, I'm more drawn to the stealth. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, it's definitely something that they've gone for now. The materials are pretty similar between mm -hmm. the Sim2 Max. They didn't use the carbon face in the fairy woods with the stealth, but um, interesting to see and maybe test out the performance year over year here. We've got the stock Ventus regular flex shafts in each of them. Uh, are you ready to hit some fairway wood shots here, Yeah, Skylar? let's do it. It's a pretty good start right there. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Mm, it's a little chunky. It's a little bit of the uh, mat first there. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, it worked out though. That was definitely cleaner contact. Mm -hmm. Might be another one of those. Yeah, look at that thing. That felt good. Oh yeah, that one was hit well. Yep, there's that slight fade. Oops. All right, some good shots there with the Sim 2 Max. We've got six up there now. Uh, one of the things that I think most golfers, when they're looking for a fairy wood, I would say most golfers just wanna make sure they can get the ball up off the ground, right? And so that's what a lot of these manufacturers do, TaylorMade included, they drop a bunch of weight kind of lower on the bottom of the club so that thing can launch in the air. How do you feel about the ability of the Sim 2 to really get that ball up off the ground. I mean, I trust it. I don't feel like I really have to work at it. Mm -hmm. um, I just trust the club's gonna do what it's designed to do. I just know that with my swing tendencies, um, that this is not gonna have to, I'm not gonna have to work the club. Yeah. If that makes sense to mm -hmm. get it up in the air. Yeah, which I think that's certainly the peace of mind that a lot of golfers are looking for is just, I can swing my swing and not worry about making sure it gets in the air or not trying to do anything, maybe manipulating my swing to get the ball in the air because the club can do that for me. Uh, so here's the kind of the dispersion map. Pretty, some pretty good numbers here and pretty good shots. You had kind of maybe this one, which I would call maybe our outlier out of, so we had six shots, maybe take that, uh, this one out here. So we've got this uh, dispersion circle here. Looks pretty good to me. I mean, we got some consistent distance there too. Uh, only, you know, your deviation number on total distance is only three and a half yards, 187.8 average. Is that kind of what you would expect? Yeah, out of five I wood? think I've been hitting it super solid. Um, my average, I've done a video with this five wood before and it's a little bit further, but I mean, I would still take that on the course mm -hmm. any yeah. day. Well, and that's, I mean, these are all really, you know, pretty straight too. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, spin just over 3000, that's, you know, pretty good. Uh, we do have, you know, I, I think if you were to use this and perhaps going for the flag, like, you know, trying to, uh, you know, land on the green and keep it on the green. There's a lot of row out there, which mm -hmm. could be a concern. Uh, you know, with that said though, I think the fact that you're hitting it so straight is definitely the big benefit there. So 
um, you know, and we talked about that look, you, you know, that, that stripe is a little bit different and we go into stealth here, where again, that all black look. I'll also be curious on your thoughts on feel too, because mm -hmm. materials don't change a ton, but you know, they're always trying to improve and optimi optimize their clubs. So, uh, but with that said, that's a pretty good bar for stealth to beat there. Yep, that's a good swing right there. Wow. That's a really good ball too. 200 yards. That feels good, it really does. That's the furthest one so far. Wow, that was hit well too. All right. <laughs> wow. We are seeing some gains. Ooh. I actually kind of went out there. Oh, that was hit well too. Oh, look at the ball speed. That's the highest ball speed so far. Yeah. I don't think there's a question about it. Mm, it's a little chunky. That's okay though. It works, right? Yeah. All right. So, stealth. Let's see here. You had basically three that were just rockets. Uh, let's see, we'll maybe go with this one here. And so, we got this for an, uh, an updated circle. Now, I think one thing, you know, is, is kind of the consistency of distance is a little bit, there's a large north and south there. I think that's a lot due to kind of hit location mm -hmm. and perhaps I think I know this one was for sure kind of that knuckleball yeah a little bit fat that one um, was as well kind of the same there but these three shots here let's uh, expand this we can see how much further they are there you know you got just shy of 200 with this one 199.8 150 smash on that one at 203.6 and then this one another 149 smash 205 so did you feel anything different, see anything different with stealth compared to Sim 2 Max? Feel-wise, there's not a ton. But I think, honestly, I didn't think cosmetically it would be this much of a difference. But I don't know. I just like the look of it. And I don't know if that has anything yeah. to do with it. But, I mean, I, my average distance with a 5 was right around 195 yeah. one, to 197 generally. Mm -hmm. But 205 is... Mm -hmm. Solid. Right, yeah, and you're hitting that 200 yards, you know, half the time uh, with that club. And so if we break down averages here, you can kind of start to see some of those differences in the gains with stealth on average. You swung it a little bit faster. So there could be something there when you mention you like that look a little bit better. It could maybe inspire a little bit more confidence. You didn't really realize it because I mean, maybe you didn't. Did, did you feel like you were swinging it faster by two miles an hour or not? Really? I don't honestly, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, so, and that's something, I mean, it happens all the time in fittings where these, those numbers come up and it doesn't feel like, the golfer doesn't feel it. Mm -hmm. It's just because they like the look of it better. Uh, so because of that more speed you got, or that more uh, higher club speed, you got more ball speed, which generated a little bit more distance. You also had lower spin on average with the Stealth too. And so that also helped with that extra distance. But a lot of the numbers are pretty similar. You know, mm -hmm. launch angle is only a half a degree difference. The smash factor is the same. Dynamic loft, very similar, which is to be expected because the loft on each of them is the same. But uh, you swung them very similar, right? Their club path is actually identical uh, on average between both of them. So very consistent swinging and height's actually pretty darn close too. So we kind of do see some of those gains on average here. You know, we're gaining a little bit of speed with the stealth and a lot of that's just related to your swing. Mm -hmm. but it's interesting that you, you know, swung that a little bit faster when the, the shafts are very similar, the club heads are very similar. Could just be that look, maybe? Possibly. I mean, I really didn't feel like I was swinging it any different. Um, and maybe I had more confidence. You know, mm -hmm. after hitting that one shot, 200, 203, I think right. maybe it just boosted my confidence a little more, knowing that I could be more. Yeah. I could go after it a little more, maybe. I don't know. Did you feel anything in terms of impact on the face that was different between the two? Because just wanted to see, because, the again, the material on the face is more or less the same, but I just didn't know if they maybe added some different weighting in the club head or anything like that that might change things or was it pretty similar it honestly if you if i close my eyes and hit each one i don't yeah. think i could okay feel wise tell the difference like just by the weight of it i'm yeah 
referring to, but I, I don't know. They feel similar, but it, it is performing a lot yeah, better. Yeah, I mean, it opinion. seems like there's kind of that extra level of, of distance and speed that could be there with Stealth mm -hmm. um, that Sim 2 Max maybe doesn't quite offer. What, with that said, though, there's something to be said about the consistency of the distance that Sim 2 Max had, where maybe you didn't catch those all perfect, right? But mm -hmm. it's still going to go a relatively similar distance, as you can see on this map here, um, which I think, well, is, is why Sim 2 Max can still be a really good performer here in 2022. Maybe not the brand new top of the line from TaylorMade, but it's going to be really solid still for a lot of golfers. So, and I know you know you've been working with golfers you know over the last year that have really loved Sim Two. Mm -hmm. uh, so, with that said, I think you know one other thing I wanted to touch on too is just the fact that we need a five wood with this test. You know, in your experience with golfers, do you see a lot of players? Maybe there's a tendency or a trend that they play a three wood and maybe they should be playing something higher lofted as kind of their their longest fairway wood. Oh, 100%. I didn't even think about that until I started working here and actually got fitted with Jackie. And I had always played a three wood. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, it was closer to a four wood. It was more like a high lofted three wood. But I would think it's a three wood. It's going to go further. Why would I need a five wood yeah. type of thing? And then I got here and I was actually hitting my five wood further and even some of my miss hits on my driver don't go as far as a five wood. Yeah. And that's just because that extra, that extra loft that's on there. And if you're on the fence or you just don't hit your three wood solid, it's the hardest club to hit in your bag. I would say do a side by side comparison, come in, mm -hmm. hit them side by side and actually yeah. see, because actually my three wood, if I was to hit it now, you'd probably see a dispersion circle that is almost similar to what yeah. we have right now. And I know I could be more consistent with a five wood. Yeah. Type cause of thing. Because that's where I think we've, you know, we've noticed if you don't quite have enough of a, a swing speed, sometimes a, a 15 degree three, which is kind of the standard lock for a three wood, mm -hmm. cannot quite be enough to get the ball in the air consistently. And then you're relying on a rollout for a lot of your distance. Whereas with a five wood, a lot of players with maybe that average uh, per se club speed, you know, that's a little bit better in terms of optimal launch and trajectory and hitting the, the right shot. So. Just something to touch on there, because I think that's where it seems like the industry is heading, is a lot more four woods, or maybe that high lofted three wood that you had mentioned, which is maybe like 16 and a half mm -hmm. degrees in the industry, or just simply going to a five wood at 18 degrees, 19 degrees, seems to be more popular. But regardless, Skyler, thank you for coming in, hitting all the shots, giving your feedback. And I think, again, stealth, we saw the, the ball speed and the, the club speed that you're gonna get, able to get as well generate some more distance, but also Sim 2 Max is still very consistent, very forgiving. So golfers, if you're interested in either of these fairway woods, uh, make sure you come in, as Skylar said, test them side by side and uh, identify the one that's right for your game and will help you the best. So once again, Skylar, thank you for joining. And again, both of these products are going to be awesome for golfers in 2022.